Hi, my name is Danny Nicholson from the Whiteboard Block. Um, here's a very quick idea um, for your interactive whiteboard um, called Magic Paper. Um, I showed this at uh, an IWB meet last night and it went down very well. Um, and I thought it was about time I recorded a short video just to show people how to make it and, um, and what it does. Um, very quick, very simple, good idea for lesson starters. If I jump to the next screen, I'll show you the kind of thing it does. So very simply on this side of the screen, I've got um, a couple of different things. So four plus four, you ask students if they, they know what the answer is, and hopefully they do, and you can put it across the other side and it reveals the answer. Um, likewise with uh, languages, you can have anything with a question and answer, a date and an event. So bonjour, put it across, and it's hello. Okay, and just moving that back and forth reveals one word, one half, and that's the other half. Um, really simple to make. Um, I'll go through on the next screen how I did it. So this is doing it on Smart Notebook, but um, the exact same technique works in, in most of the whiteboard software. It's because it's really using colours. I'm going to start off with some shapes. So I'll click on Shapes tool. I'm going to go up here and choose a rectangle. I'm going to drag a rectangle out, and then I'm going to select that box. And I'm just going to clone it because I like my boxes to be neat exactly the same size like so i'm going to choose the paint buckets i'm going to fill one box in yellow and i'm going to fill one box in black like so i'm then going to choose some writing i'm going to just working a bit of blank space over on the side here i click on here and if we do our example like that all i'm going to do now is just highlight the word I want hidden at the start, so I want the answer hidden. Um, go up to the text color and choose the exact same text color as the, the color of the box. I'm going to choose that yellow, like so. Make that a little bit, oops, make that a little bit bigger. So see what I'm doing. And the idea really is that the yellow hides on top of yellow. So if I move that across now, you can't see the yellow because it's the exact same shade of yellow, but you can see the black. And if you pull that across the other side, you can't see the black, but you can see the yellow. It'll work with any two colour combinations. Obviously, do bear in mind um, some colour combinations work better than others. And if you've got colour blind children, um, there are certain combinations to avoid. But um, yellow and black seem to work quite well. Um, and that's it. That's magic paper in in two and a half minutes, three minutes. Um, do play, and any questions, um, please get me through the blog. You can tweet me at Danny Nick, and um, I'll answer any questions that, that you send to me. Thank you for listening.